Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I welcome you back to Praise Channel TV. Please shall we pray together. King of kings and Lord of lords, I am that I am, the immortal redeemer, the almighty God, everlasting father, my king, my healer, my savior, my lifter, my defender, my protector, my deliverer. Lord, I've come with a heart of thanksgiving to your presence. One more time today, Lord, to serve on this platform. Please, Holy Spirit, charge me with your power, your unction, and your anointing, that I might lift up Jesus very well for souls in their multitudes to be drawn to him across the world and for your children to be strengthened. Have your way, Lord, as we share. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. One more time, I welcome you to this glorious channel, Praise Channel TV on YouTube, where we lift up Jesus and bring about messages of hope, encouragement, and salvation as God leads us. I welcome you to today's uh, telecast. My name is Evangelist Chuks Chidubeke, a praise channel, this kind God, your host, by the grace of God. Before we jump into what we have today, I want to please appeal to you one more time. If you're a first, a first timer to this channel, you have not subscribed, help us to click on that red subscribe button you can see by your right there to subscribe. And this will help us to do better to the glory of God and may the Lord bless you mightily as you support us. Also hit the notification bell so that you might get informed anytime we have a new content uploaded here, a new content uploaded here, right? Then like the message by clicking on the thumbs up button there, the like button, leave a message with us and share this video, this material with your friends, all to the glory of God. I appreciate you for supporting us here. And I'm saying again today, I am praying for you. May the Lord always support you and raise help for you. Always, all to the glory of God. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Right, the last telecast, we started a series. I will be rounding off today on the same series by God's grace. And this, this COVID-19 matter, this COVID-19 matter, part two. We shared part one last time. And as we share on this part two, the focus is what the church must do. This COVID-19 matter, part two, with emphasis on what the church must do. And we're reading from Matthew 18, verse 19. Matthew 18, 19. Here the Bible says in the new NLT version of the Bible, I also tell you this, if two of you agree down here on earth concerning anything you ask, my Father in heaven will do it for you. Allow me to read it one more time. Matthew 18, 19. I also tell you this. If two of you agree down here on earth concerning anything you ask, my Father in heaven will do it for you. The NLT version of the Bible. Brethren, God has given the church so much power. So much, so much power. I believe that we are not using it enough here on earth. No, 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 no. I don't think we are using this power enough. I know we are not. I'm not just thinking, but I know we are not using enough. On a look at that scripture. That whatever two of us shall I give, agree down here on earth as believers, that God has said he would do it for us. We are not using this power enough. If we, the church, can agree on anything on earth here, as God has promised to do it, it will happen and God will be glorified. Okay, please. Can we unite and wage war against this holocaust called COVID-19? Dear church folks, daddies, mommies, GOs, young ministers, can we agree on this matter? That we should focus on dealing with this holocaust, this malady, this canker worm called COVID-19. Pull it down and destroy it completely globally. Not separating from nation to nation. No, globally, can the church globally arise with one voice and one faith in unity to crush this malady, this holocaust called COVID-19? It's destroyable, it's crushable. It can be to totally annihilated and obliterated from our generation. If we, the church, can arise as God has empowered us to with one voice, one faith, in unity, resist this malady, curse it, crush it the way we do in my family. We curse COVID-19, we crush COVID-19. It's possible. And look at this scripture again also. Look at this also. 
In Luke chapter 1 verse 37, the Bible says, nothing you see is impossible with God. That, that's the message Bible. I like the way the message Bible puts this. Luke, sorry, Luke 1 37. Nothing you see is impossible with God. Observe the emphasis on see. We have to by faith see this done as we wage war against COVID-19. We have to see it that it's done. We have to see it, not just wish it. No, we must see that it's possible. Can you see that this malady can be brought down? The Bible also says that at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Can we see the knee of COVID-19 bowing down at the name of Jesus? Oh, church people, oh, believers across the world, let us arise. I told you last time, please, let's stop the argument whether COVID-19 exists or not, whether the vaccine should be taken or not. No, forget all those ones. Let Whatever you choose, okay, so be it. But can we together now arise with one voice to cause and crush and destroy this COVID-19? Do you know what it's doing to the body of Christ? It's making the preaching of the gospel not to be effective the way it should be. Because there are multi multiples of restrictions. You can't travel to some countries now from your own country. Even if you have invitation to come and preach in a conference or in, at a, during a crusade or as a missionary to go and win souls for Christ, there are nations that will never welcome you until these things are cleared off. Why can't we arise, church, and together bind this malady, bind this holocaust? We are discussing today COVID, the COVID-19, this COVID-19 matter, what the church must do. I come humbly by the Spirit of God to challenge us believers. Let us with one voice arise and curse and crush this holocaust in your house, in your homes, in your churches, in your ministries, online, Zoom meetings and all. Raise warfare prayer against COVID-19 wherever you are. Curse it, crush it. This is what the church must do. And it has to be done now. Because more harm is being done. People are dying. Pastors have died and they've been tested, like I said the other time. And they tested positive to COVID-19. Even if you don't believe it, well, it means that you don't believe medical science at all. Some are sick now in the hospital. Some have been treating this thing. It has not gone. But we can go through a faster route. And that faster route is to cause and crush this thing. The church must arise with one voice and agree that we want to face this. It can be once a month, there could be gathering of believers from different denominations and interdenominational gathering. Jesus said that we two or three are gathered in his name. He will be there in their midst. To do what? To wrought signs and wonders. All church arise. All believers arise. Wage war against this malady from hellfire called COVID-19. Kapile Zuka, Shandala Mutele, Supekinandaya Gatule, Shaga Raba. Naru, Sherika, Bo, fire, fire, fire of the Holy Ghost, fire of the Holy Ghost, fire of the Holy Ghost. We release on you COVID-19. We cross you by fire. We cross you by fire. We cross you by fire. This is what the church must do. We must arise as one and face this COVID-19 and cross it. For the Lord has promised us already that whatever we shall ask for here on earth, Concerning anything we ask for. He said, whatever we ask for here on earth, he will do it for us. We can arise and in unity, bring this word before God and remind him his promise. That in unity, according to your word, we are rising, we are agreeing, and we are asking for your power to be revealed that COVID-19 will be permanently destroyed in our generation. Souls must be won into God's kingdom. COVID-19, with all its effects, is reducing the success rate of winning souls into God's kingdom. Many churches are not meeting anymore, like I said the last time. Online services are not very effective in many places because data is very expensive. Airtime very expensive. If somebody has not eaten, you're talking about data and airtime. So the shortest route to destroying this thing is for us to arise together and cause it and crush it and pull it out of the way. Can you now, child of God, please? This is for believers because the Bible says that the effect, true fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much. Can we arise now? Raise our voices now, believers, and begin to crush this holocaust called COVID-19. Shall we begin now? Open your mouth one more time. Curse it. Crush it. Destroy it. Pull it down. Waste it.
cause it to be annihilated and obliterated. We waste you COVID-19. If you have a brother or sister by your side, hold hands and cause COVID-19 and cross COVID-19. Command it to die. Gabadagaya. Kapotikala. The word of God cannot be of non-effect. Never. The word of God is powerful. The word of God is sharper than two edges sword. We use the sword of the word of God to cut you to pieces. Oh, COVID-19. We cut you, you, we cut you to pieces. As united believers, can you hold hands with somebody as you pray? I agree with you in faith. We cause this malady. We cause this holocaust. Die by fire. Die by fire. We cut you to pieces with the sword of the spirit, the word of God. Right now, Kapule, Zagada Bagaya Dagaya Kapakataya Kasati Kerebuda, Ibro Kasulian Gadalia, Zabagadide, cross COVID 19, cross COVID 19. Let the church arise in, as one in unity and agree that this thing is coming down. We pull you down, we pull you down by fire now in the mighty name of Jesus. Sakupilada, Shakarabada. We destroy you and we pray the blood of Jesus. We pray the blood of Jesus. We pray the blood of Jesus over you, COVID 19, with all the variants first wave, second wave, third wave, fourth wave, no matter your number, all of you bow at the name of Jesus and we pray the blood of Jesus against you. The Bible says that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. The blood of Jesus has given us victory. Die! COVID-19. And we speak healing to all that have been affected, particularly God's children. You are healed by the stripes of Jesus. Recover now. We speak to your body, to your systems, to everything in you. Recover now. Recover now from the from, from the effect of COVID-19. Recover now all the believers who have been affected in one way or the other. Recover. Recover. You will not die, but live to declare the goodness and mercies of the Lord. So shall it be. And to God be all the glory. Thank you, Lord, for answering. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Now, you have not, if you have not given your life to Jesus, I want to encourage you to please repeat this prayer after me. That's part of why we do what we do on this channel. Please repeat this prayer after me to give your life to Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, please forgive me all my sins. I accept you now as my personal Lord and Savior. Satan, I reject you. You and your demons. I'm no longer for you. I am for Jesus. For real. And for life. Help me, Jesus, to serve you to the end. In Jesus' mighty name I have prayed. Amen. Now let me pray for you. Father, thank you for this, your peculiar and precious child that has decided, decided to follow you. Daddy, may you reign in this life as Lord and Savior forever. Lord Jesus, release into this life the promises you have made to those who have given their lives to you, including salvation, healing, deliverance, breakthrough, signs, wonders. Keep saying amen. Open heavens, open doors, increase, houses, cars, and many more. Even answer to prayer and grace to unto righteousness. Receive child of God and you are covered with the blood of Jesus. It is well with you. God bless you. Thank you for your time today. Help us to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so and uh, click on the notification bell so that you get notification whenever we upload the new content. Like this content. Leave a comment with us please. It helps in this ministry and help us to share this video. Share, share, share with your friends. Share with believers. Let the war start. Let the warfare start. Pulling down COVID-19 is what can be done in the name of Jesus as the church unites. This is a clarion call for the church to unite and fight, fight this holocaust and it will, it will come down all to the glory of God in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you for your time. See you at the next edition. To God be all the glory. Hallelujah. Amen.